found this old vintage like globe from the 70s I'm sure and I've had it forever as a kid I just remember you know, loving it but not really having a place for it and now I still have it with me and it got me thinking you know we're never gonna see what's truly in the middle of the earth like in the center you know and I'm thinking well if there's really something special in the middle of the earth it should be alcohol yeah why not I mean we all want world peace so why don't we start with a cocktail <laughs> so I decided I'm gonna use this vintage globe and I'm gonna make a place where you can actually store your favorite alcoholic beverage that's right so let's get started Okay, so first we need to find out what's really inside our earth here. And I'm gonna cut with an, uh, a box cutting knife along the equator. I'm gonna start right here in Africa. And just carefully hold the globe, because it will spin, and just cut it open. Um, so now we've got this ready, and it looks kind of <laughs> empty. I figured that much. So we need to add the party. <laughs> So what we need to do first is we need to pick up a, a some type of base or we want to find something for it to rest in. So I have plenty of pots and things like that that you can find that's very decorative and that's going to be our base and once you find that you're going to place it in there. And we're going to also keep this because I just think it's so pretty and I'm going to use this like as the base where, um, the, where the opening will, will rest on. So I have one of these cheap little plastic pots and it's actually it comes apart and it has a great little base and I'm thinking that will be perfect it's big enough so I'm just going to use this for the globe to sit on and we'll um, drill a hole through this and attach it so get that whatever base you want to find you could use an old like a, a the cat that goes over on a light picture maybe or just something you have that looks kind of decorative like that and I'm actually going to spray paint this gold and then inside of the globe where it's cardboard I'm going to spray paint that gold as well and I think that'll give it a really really pretty little look there and give it some style. Ooh, look how pretty that looks that shimmery gold love it. Anyway so the next thing we need to do is we need to make the base and we need to make a small small like round piece that will actually where the liquor or the wine will rest in so it'll rest further in and then on the top we need to make a little template where we cut out little rivets where glassware can actually sit in. So first take your globe half and actually I have to show you this came off an old entertainment center and I still have it and it's perfect because it's it's particle wood but it's 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 uh, thin enough to cut with a jigsaw. So just take your globe and just trace the circle around Okay, so now we've got our wine rack already glued. So now we just need to add the, the little finishing touch, which I'm gonna use the compass little measurement thing that actually would hold the globe before and just glue it on the edge so it actually cleans up the line. A little hinge, and we're gonna actually going to mount it on this back piece here, and then you're just gonna piece it inside the globe that's gonna be on the top. Okay, so lastly, we need to make a really pretty cap topper so you don't see the hole. And I'm going to use a pretty little crystal knob and a screw, and I'm just going to tighten it with a nut. And that way, when you open the whirl, it'll be so pretty to pull. 